to the same motherfucker that I always been. Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can tune your 808s in Logic Pro X. And to get started, we're going to go ahead and create a new software instrument. I'm going to go into our EXS24 sampler. If it's not under your recent plugins, just go to EXS24 sampler down here and select mono. When you're working with 808s, you always want to um, work in mono uh, when you're creating the beats. Alright, just a heads up on that. Then you want to hit the edit button. If you don't have this edit button, just go to Logic Pro X, then go to uh, Preferences, and go to Advanced Tools. Under Advanced Tools, make sure all Show Advanced Tools is enabled. You can go ahead and enable all the other ones too while you're at it. Alright, so now we're going to hit Edit. This uh, sampler instrument comes up. I'm going to import uh, one of these waves that I got from the Big Bang Theory. It's a... Um, 808 uh, kit that you should definitely have in your arsenal and uh, you could just google that uh, it'll come up I'm sure so um, the 808 I'm going to be using for this tutorial is uh, called the six godly dot wave that's a uh, an 808 that sounds something like a, you know that you could hear at a Drake type beat one says six godly and the other one says six godly 24 B that stands for 24 bit you always want to work with 24-bit samples in uh, the EXS24 sampler. So if it comes in a different bit format, all you got to do is drag it to the timeline like this. And then simply drag it into your sampler instrument like that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use this 24-bit version. And uh, let's see what that sounds like right now. Alright, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do now is see if this 808 is already in tune. Some 808s already come pre-tuned uh, in the key of C, but uh, if it's not, you just select your tuner, and I went to Audio Effects, and then Tuner. If it doesn't show up under your recent, you could uh, find it under Metering, and then Tuner in Mono. Okay, so now what we're going to do is hit C3 on the keyboard, and we're going to see what's happening on the tuner. So that seems to be an A flat. So what we're going to do to um, pitch this, see it has to be on C since we're hitting C, or it should be at least. So what we'll do is use our tuner over here in the EXS24 sampler to tune it into the right key. So again, um, let me just make some room here so you guys could see. Bring that over here. Let's try uh, pitching this up by one cent. So now we're at a B. So we should be able to just pitch this up one more cent. And now we're in C. Now you've tuned this 808. There's also a fine tune uh, function right underneath the tune function. And uh, if you need to refine it by you know a little bit you can do that down here just play around with it and uh, you know if you have a different 808 sample it might be in a different key so you want to uh, you know make sure it's uh, completely in key and that's pretty much how you tune your 808s in Logic Pro X if you have any questions you know what to do put those in the comment section really appreciate you taking this time out to watch this video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already like all that good stuff my name's CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Peace.